أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الحي القيوم المدبر لجميع المخلوقين ولا والسلام على أتم الأكملات على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه الطيبين الطاهرين اللهم لا سهلا إلا ما جعلت من سهلا وأنت تجعل الحزن إذا شئت سهلا صلى الله تعالى يوفقنا لنجيب ويرضى ويرزقنا حسنية السلام عليكم ورحمة الله I start the name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, I praise him and I thank him and I ask Allah humbly to raise the name of Prophet Muhammad and all his companions and all those who followed him to protect his nation from that which he feared for I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant you and I sincere intentions, inshaAllah. <coughs> okay, I think this is lecture number five, right? Five? Okay, so that means it's week six. Um, so inshaAllah what we'll do is we'll continue with what we've been doing. And towards the end of the class, um, maybe maybe we'll do a little bit of revision depending on how time uh, works out. And inshallah, we'll also hopefully cover a little bit of new theory. Okay. Um, but before I start, I want to know what's the most important thing in terms of your practice or in terms of your dissertation that you've learned so far in the course, based on the principles that we've learned. What was what's most applicable to the implementation of that week? Mr. Muhammad. Each data clearly, okay. Using what? What? Uh, using what? Okay, by the great formation of the mouth. And in terms of the formation of sound, that in terms of makharij, the collisions, explosions, and vibrations are all proper. Okay. So that is, in essence, primarily the most important thing. In terms of recitation, what I'm going to leave you with this week, just basic things. We will talk a little bit about levels of recitation. I actually think you've got a little note um, in your theory section. Just page through something that says ways of joining the basman of the surah. Um, we can find it somewhere there. And we'll quickly just talk about levels of recitation. Levels of recitation. Maratib al qiraa Okay, just page on the other side of that same page. I think it's on that one, if I remember correctly, yes. Uh, this page here. You don't have a set of notes, right? Okay, but it's fine. You can just follow this one here. You don't? You, no, this should be in that tip. This is just like a, um, It says ways of reading the best matter between two surahs. It's not there. Okay, don't worry about it. Um, but you can find it all online. Okay, all of everything that I've given out in that tip is online. So Maratib al in terms of the levels that they're talking about here, they're talking about places or they're talking about speeds. Okay. And what we know from Ayn al Tajweed, or from the science of al Tajweed, we've learned and we've understood thus far that it is Fadl Ayn, right? It means it's a personal obligation. And is this referring to the knowledge or referring to the implementation? To the implementation. So the knowledge of Ayn al Tajweed, or the science, the knowing, the knowledge that encompasses it, is not fard ayn, it's fard kifayah, meaning some of the Muslim community must know it, okay? Um, fard ayn means a personal obligation. So in the science of Tajweed, when we talk about the implementation being fard ayn, we say, ala kulli muslimin wa muslimatin yahfadhan al-Qur'an. Upon every Muslim who has memorized the Qur'an, kulluhu aw ba'du, all of it, part of it, okay? So that's the Tajweed part, who must implement it. Now, if we are deciding at different speeds, the acceptable speeds are where there's no compromise in the laws of Tajweed, or its implementation thereof. Now in Al-Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about reciting the Quran. For example, وَرَتِّلِ الْقُرْآنَ تَرْتِيلًا and we'll get to the definition of a tartil in a moment. But at the same time, we know we must apply tajweed. So there must be some relationship between tartil and tajweed. Waratil al Quran al somewhere there must be a relationship with that tajweed as well. And another verse in the Quran, Alladina atayna humu al kitaba yatunahu haqqa tilawati, ulaika yu'minu nabi. This verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and those whom have acquired, or those whom we have given the book, 
الذين آتيناهم الكتابة يتلونه حق تلاوتي they give it its due rights in recitation تلاوة in reading now there are two interpretations of this verse the one is that the ulama say it's referring to a tajweed the others say that it means to act upon the laws of the ahkam of the Quran or the lessons they give okay and then the others uh, say it means both but the basis for Tajweed is well established in other verses like Waratil Qur'ana Tabtila. Now, when we are going to be talking about these levels or speeds, what kind of speeds can you get for reading the Qur'an? You can either recite it slow or fast or in between. And basically those are the three levels of reciting the Qur'an. I'll give you some examples also. But the same like you find for example, in the spectrum of colors, if you're talking about red, you get multiple shades of red. Okay? The same way, if we're talking about slow recitation, you're going to get multiple ways of reciting the Quran slowly. Some slower than others, but generally, how we perceive it is that it is a slow recitation. And then on the other spectrum, we have fast on the other end. And again, you will get different paces of reciting the Quran fast. And then everything between these two extreme places would fall in between. And the same with the colors. Like the way we perceive it, we either perceive it to be dark red or light red or a moderate or in between, in between red. Okay? So the same with the recitation. So we find three paces. And for our understanding, we'll just call it slow, fast, and medium for now. Uh, slow. Fast or soft reading and um, in between we'll call it a moderate phase, right? In between. Okay. But again in all these paces there must be the proper implementation of the read, right? Okay, slow recitation. This is not necessarily the slowest of recitations, but it will fall in the category of slow. If you want to find a good example of proper tajweed when it's being recited slow, listen to Mujawad of Shaykh Siddiq al Mishawi, Mustafa Ismail, or Shaykh al Basid al Tussamad, and you'll find some good examples there. Okay? Um, if I get some time while I'm away, inshallah, I will upload some onto the website. Now, for example, a slow recitation would be. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. It's slow, but it's not yet the slowest acceptable phase. You can get slower than that. And fast recitation, it's tricky because the fast recitation still needs to apply the tajweed. The moment we neglect the tajweed, that type of recitation is not permissible. So, or the moment any of the speeds start to compromise the laws of Tajweed, then that speed would not also be permissible. Okay, so it would take practice to perfect it at that speed. Um, example. <coughs> An example of a swift recitation would be, but again you need the consistency in timings, which I'll explain shortly. Example, Right? That would be a swift recitation, but the laws of Tajweed was not compromised. Okay. In other words, all the openings, lowerings, and complete circles are there with the sifat. Okay. But then again, it's a very tricky one. For learning, this is what we will be. What this is what we've been using. Rashid, right? Yes. Okay. Good. So we want to break it up again. Remember for for the Hamza, it's a, and then we go to to what? To the Ain, which is Ru. A, Ru. Say. Ru. A, short. A, Ru. Say again. Ru. Right. So now we put it together. A, Ru, Right. 
أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين مالك يوم الدين مالك يوم الدين مالك يوم الدين okay لقمان how is that supposed to be said yeah okay so we first go yeah then into the wow so we say yeah yeah uh, say it together Right. So it's not short yo, it is ya hu yo. And how what's the lengthening there? Two harakatan. Yo, sura, yo, sura. Same timing. Okay? Sura ta yo middin. This yo middin, what's the type? What's the mad called? Mad? Mad what? We did it last week. Madlin, right. Madlin is where we have Wow, sakina, or oh, ya yeah, sakina. What is before them? Fatha. So, min khawf bi khayri. Okay, haraka. Ten, two pulls. Let's do it again. Malik yawm al-din. Malik yawm al-din. Malik yawm al-din. Malik yawm al-din. Take your time on. Yeah. Okay. إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين. إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين. Okay. What is this? What uh, what 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 did we learn there from the analysis piece? What are we supposed to say? إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين. Talk to me. What must we do? Do you remember? Do you remember? But you have to emphasize the, uh, the yeah, yeah, right? Because of the shatta, of course. But we raise the voice and we shorten the timing. So instead of saying iyaka, we say iyaka. Raise the voice and shorten the timing. Do you know what this is called? Nabar, right. It's called Nabar. So we say again iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'een. Iyaka na'budu. Good. Okay. إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين. إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين. Okay. This is number. Okay. Do you want a rule for number? To remember it. A rule? Okay. Let's give you a rule. Okay. The rule for number. It's again related. There are many cases for a number. The case that we are dealing with in the surah. The case that we are dealing with, I want to talk about with me, is never when we have mad. Okay? So again, what is that? Dhamma, right? What will make a Dhamma longer? Well, Sakina, we get this long. Ooh, make sense? Okay? Kasra plus what? Ya sakina gives us this long E sound. Now, if we look at E ya ka, now what you know of mushaddada, if I say abba, we say it usually means ab plus ba. Okay, so we say it means two. That's what we say. We say it means two, it means. The one is sakin, so this should be e. That's what we say, though, right? Plus yaka. So it must be e yaka. If you were to think of shadda to be doubling, correct? If you were to think of abba, you'd say abba is equal to ab plus ba. Abba. Now that's simple because that's abba, abba, right? Here it's E plus Yaka. And here the timing is mad. Isn't it so? What's the timing there? Haraka. Harakatan. 
But we don't make it to harakat. We actually make it slightly less than a harakat. We say, Iyaka. Say, Iyaka. Now the purpose of number here, so the listener again can hear that there is a shadda and he needs to avoid making, making what? Making? Mad. He needs to avoid making mad. If he doesn't apply the number and it's just like, it's like E almost, right? So there's two things that he can do. He can either miss the shatta or he can prolong the, the mud. But the point of number is to avoid making mud and that, that is clear to the listener. So, when does number apply? Number applies when you have a case of mud. In other words, Dhamma plus Wawsakina or Kasra plus Plus what? Yes, yeah, Sakina. Um, sorry, not Sakina. In the case of, this is when it becomes Nabal. When you have? When you have? Shadda. Okay, so. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'een. Say. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'een. Again. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'een. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'een. Right. Give me an example. Um, I'll give you more examples for this. For example, the word Sharqiyah. You know this word, right? Sharqiyah. Say Sharqiyah. Right. If you write it out, it's like this. Rishi. Right. Ra. Ka. Yeah. This is a kaf. Correct. With kasra. And this is a yeah. Qi. We're going to make it Yam Shah Teras, it must become Shaw. Qiyya. Wala Ghar Biyya. Say. Wala Ghar Biyya. Say. Ghar Biyya. Ghar Biyya. Right. Emphasis on the Ya and shorten its timing at the point of number. Shaw Qiyya. Shaw Qiyya. Wala Ghar Biyya. Wala Ghar Biyya. Right. Um, Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'een Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'een Right, say ka 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 Right, that's good What must, what must we do? Open the mouth, right? With an explosion So the formation is Ka Say again Ka uh, One before is very good Ka 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 Open Ka Ka, right Try not to, to lower the jaw so much, just, just open it. Cat. Cat. Right, that's very good. Okay. Um, an example where you have oh and wow. It's mushaddada. Anything in the Quran. A word, just a word. A word for la hawla wa la quwwata. So again, here's number. You have half. Wow. Right? Huwa. You have? What must they be? Shorten, slightly the timing, and raise the voice. So we say, Huwa. Say? Huwa. Right. Huwa. Huwa. Right, so we don't go to Huwa, and we don't go to Huwa. Or like Huwa. Right. Must be Huwa. لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. Okay, let's read again. إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين. إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين. إهدنا الصراط المستقيم. إهدنا الصراط المستقيم. إهدنا الصراط المستقيم. إهدنا الصراط المستقيم. صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم أنعمت سي أنعمت عليهم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم 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 عليه صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا 
side and it's not prepaid on the other side. Okay, so what I would like you to do is I'd like you to do an analysis in a similar manner that we did. Break up the important points. Okay, so I'll give you an example. If we're going to start with Alhamdu, right, I need you to highlight this is Hamza al Wasl. Okay, so you'll write down the verse and then you'll break it up. Similar to the way the Basmala is broken up in, in Al Isti'ada, similar to that example that you do have, but a bit more detailed because that one was thrown up. I did that six years ago, so I think the levels have improved, and likewise yours have too. Uh, you tell me this is Hamza al Wasl. Then with this, you give me the. Tell me, not always pronounced, whatever, whatever, whatever. And then you tell me in this case, if I'm starting, will it be Fatha Kasr or Got it? Okay. Um, <coughs> there isn't much more that we've done here. Then you can show me that this here is, what is this? This letter has got Fatha. So you can tell me that this letter is, this letter is, fouled. Tell me what will happen, what will this be? Explosion, collision, or vibration? That will be explosion. Okay? And then you also tell me the the formation. So the formation of the mouth for this letter will be it will be opening, the mouth will be open. Okay. Then here, this one's simple. What is that got on it? It's not vowed, so it's non vowed. In other words, you can easiest way to give me this would tell me that it's a constant, okay? And then you also tell me what's the positioning. What's positioning? Neutral, right? It must be neutral. And then you tell me one other thing. How is it formed? Collision, okay? So it's it's quite a bit of work because we must do the also wrong, okay? But I don't mean. You must go through each of them. If you come into a letter and you give me a summary, what kind of little code at the beginning, and then you say this will be this will be a file data, it will be what will it be? An explosion and it will have formation of circling. Okay, so you can use a short code to see for circling. Can you go through it like that? Um, that's what I'd like. That's the one thing. The other thing is you don't have to repeat the explanations of the things. I want to see you explain the word to me. So if you come across Hamza al-Wasl, you explain Hamza al-Wasl. When Hamza al-Wasl comes again, for example, in Ar-Rahman, Hamza al-Wasl comes again in Ar-Rahman, you just tell me Wasl, the, the first time it comes up, you explain it. The second time it comes up, you just tell me Wasl, and you say, start with Fatha. In other words, but has stopped. Okay? The properties you give me the first one. The same thing. I'm actually doing the other sign for you. The other things that you need to cover is is what? Now but you don't have to explain it so much, as much as you have to show me the application and tell me what you need to do. Raise the voice, shorten the timing. Okay, what else did we do? You can highlight the normal Hamza and give me the name. The normal Hamza. You gotta show me it's Hamza to cut in. What else is the answer of Fatiha that we did cover? Tricky things. Rahman, Iyya, Kana, Abudu, Ihdinas, Surah. Then you can also highlight how to join the, the verses. And, it's fine, it's fine. Um, and then what I really want you to do is highlight tricky points. So that, that's basically everything. And then you give me the tricky points. Like, when can you make mistakes? Easy it is, like Alhamdulillah, okay, or Na'abu, do. What's the mistake there? Na'abu, do. Na'abu, do. Na'abu, do. No, wait, wait, I'm doing it right. Na'abu, do. Look at the word. If I write down Na'abu, do, for example, that's Dhamma and Dhamma. Formation here. What's this? This is vowel, right? It has got, it's going to be an explosion, and it's going to be a fat hat, so it must be open the mouth. This has got collision, correct? This is sagging, so it's collision, and the position is neutral. What's the position here? Circling of the lips, and it's vowel, so it must be explosion, okay? And then what's after it? 
the same thing, circling of the lips, valve and explosion. Correct? But what am I doing? Now, do, do. I went from circling of the lips to, to, look again, now, do, do. I went circling, neutral and circling. Did you see that? Now, do, do. Right, so what am I doing? By adding neutral in between here, what am I doing? I'm adding, I'm adding, what does neutral mean? Sukun, so it means I'm adding sukun to the Quran, it's not there. Okay, uh, is that clear? Okay, but don't say so much, just show me that you've understood the concepts, like number, show me lean. Okay, you can highlight that, lean. You can show me whatever there's lean in the surah. Okay. And basically everything else that we did in terms of the practice. That's your assignment for the next three weeks. Okay. Um, and then practice, 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 practice uh, from the recordings that are on the website. Okay. Any questions? No? Alhamdulillah. Okay. I want to sign like that. Don't forget. Do you have a moment now? You have to go for the practice. What am I supposed to give you? I must give you the practical set. You know what set it is? Do you have this one that says principles of the Principles of the Okay. You don't see the body type. Okay, I tell you of these, all of these are online, except the alphabet. You don't need the alphabet, right? Okay, you know the alphabet. Okay, everything else in here is online. Okay? Um, I don't have any copies here, so the same for you. Um, you can download it, inshallah. The only thing that isn't online is the alphabet. Okay? So guys, I want to see you, inshallah. Um, I will be leaving for now tomorrow, so I'll be your stuff. So make dua for me. Allah. And uh, go well. And don't forget the homework. You have three weeks to do it. Okay? Shalom. 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 Shalom.